Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, and we're back with part 3 of Electric Sleep. So, we have unlocked Fear, and we have unlocked Joy, and now we will be trying to unlock another new emotion for this robot trying to find its way through an unfamiliar world. Now, if you haven't watched parts 1 and 2 of the Electric Sleep playthrough yet, um, there will be a link to the playlist popping up around the screen at some point around about now. So I recommend you go and watch those first. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying it would probably help and give a little bit of context to what I'm doing here. So, all caught up? Good, I hope you are. So now we are playing through the game with Joy. And I don't know if it's Joy and Fear, or just Joy. I don't know if you unlock new emotions if they all play a part. But we'll see as we go through. So here we are, waking up in our pod once again. You blink! coaxed awake by the freshness of the light and the mesmerizing surface of a glass pod that opens obligingly, inviting you out into the world. Everything around you feels new and also strangely comforting, as if a fresh sheen has been given to something that once was drearily familiar. You walk carefully, trying to take in every detail, making your way over to a computer terminal. It's screen shining, so everything seems so much more glittering and gleaming and lovely now. <laughs> this is the joy. This is joy kicking in. The text is picked out like constellations. We wanted to give you a chance to build something on your own. Yes. We knew you could be proud. Mm. These words are almost meaningless to you, and yet, in their affirmation, you feel emboldened. You are already analyzing everything contained in this room, while at the same time feeling sure that there must be even more beyond the confines of these four walls. You cannot wait to explore further and discover all the delights your new playground holds. Ooh, we're looking forward to stuff. Are we going to run headfirst into danger? Maybe our, maybe our overwhelming joy at seeing every little thing is going to lead us straight into a dark path. Noticing for the first time a ladder at the far end of the room, you leap confidently up it, taking pleasure in the smoothness of your movement and the anticipation of what is to come. Gosh, it's like... It's like when Ford Prefect rewires the the, um, the patrol robot in the Hitchhiker's Guide offices and just turns on constant joy chip. It's just like that. And if you don't get the reference, I do apologise, but those who do get the reference, isn't it hilarious? You heft a metal hatch over your head, marvelling at the sense of satisfaction from doing so. Oh, it's just such a thrill to be alive. Oh, it's such a thrill to be able to touch things and move things and just, 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 just be. You find yourself in a wide clearing, bookended by magnificent trees and patterned with intriguing arrangements of metal and wood, hinting at a structure that once stood here. Oh, what an elegant space in which to orient yourself. Oh, this is just marvellous. This is just jolly, jolly good, jolly fantastically good. You take a moment to appreciate the embrace of the firmament above and the earth beneath. There is joy in being wide awake. Well, you know, it depends really what time of the morning it is and how much coffee is available. Maybe that's just me though. Okay, the multifarious colours of the forest draw your eye. You can hear the babble of a river. There is the shape of a building beyond the trees. Hmm. Let's go for the building this time, because we didn't do it before, but we're, we're feeling joyous. Let's just go for the building. There is the shape of a building beyond the trees, one that is more definite in its outline than the remains, uh, than the remnants here, though they are dignified in their erosion. I do like a good old dilapidated building. Might it contain others with which to share in these wonders? Is there other people I can just have these fantastic orgasms of joy with? There is only one way to find out. It certainly is, let's march. It's like following the yellow brick road, isn't it, really? Are we just a tin man looking for a heart? 
Emerging from the trees, you are astounded by the combination of sight and sound that greets you. There is the great bursting of a waterfall from an elaborate building, one that seems to have been constructed around that natural feature. The white water plunges smoothly into a pool below, where it settles into a shimmering blue. Little bits of hints of alliteration in that sentence, and I do, I do like a little bit of artistic alliteration. I think it works wonders sometimes, when used correctly. You feel wonder at the perfect arrangement of these different sensations. Almost overwhelmed by this beauty, you turn deeper into the forest. Drawn to the glimmering water, you feel compelled to follow its journey, or you search for a way into the building. Let's just try and get in the building. This, this is the, we'll do the building route this time because we didn't. This is the same. I'm trying to pick a different route every time too. You know, you search for a way into the building, wanting to experience even more of this place. On your way, you pass by piles of rubble, which appear curiously artful when viewed through the fine layer of water vapor that drifts over from the waterfall. Oh boy, this the robot with joy is just absolutely finding the most minute chunks of beauty in every little thing. When you reach the building's walls, you spot a crumbling entryway and pull yourself through it. Oh, we found a way in. You revel in the majesty of the echoing space inside the building, lined with banks of elaborate machinery. Between them are plumes of falling water, smaller echoes of the great waterfall outside. This apparatus is entirely still, but elegant even in its slumber. You savor the sweeping tableau set out in front of you. Take your time to explore the plant in every detail, or in surveying the plant you see another set of buildings. No, let's just, let's stay here. Let's stay in this particular building, I think. You take your time to explore the plant in every detail, enjoying the echo of the falling water, clambering around columns, running your hands over the different surfaces. It paints a better picture of the robot in a way, because now we're starting to get a feel for running your hands, so you must have quite like very humanoid-esque hands to be able to run them over things. I just get the feeling of bendy fingers rather than big metallic slabs of metal just whacking off things, you know? Really build a picture. You progress all the way to the back of the building, where an empty doorway leads to a concrete track bending into the distance. You continue your journey along its route. What are we going to find? Oh, more decay by the looks of it. Oh, wait. Here, lush vegetation rapidly gives way to sculpted concrete and the very, very, woo. It's a word I don't know. Variegated? The variegated environment? Oh, we'll go with variegated. The variegated environment changes into a single, clear direction. A tarmac expanse, hoisted on large columns marked with amber lights that rises from the ground below to form an enormous traffic highway. Distant, unusual sounds hinted activity in the distance, as yet unseen. This is the thing, when I did the playthrough before when I discovered Joy, I found this little kind of, this little miniature society of other robots. I don't know if they were the same as me or not. But I get the feeling there's even more society out there beyond the fringes. You tingle with excitement at the feeling that you may be approaching a final destination. You walk calmly along the highway, the setting sun descending in front of you, a glowing circle guiding you onwards in your journey. You pass numerous empty cars and glance curiously inside each, but their interiors are almost all an identical abandoned grey. Eventually, the route comes to an abrupt end, and you can see a cluster of tall buildings just beyond, bathed in sunset orange. With a smile, you dash towards them. Was that a good idea? If you remember, 
well, uh, well, f in the first part, we decided to march towards a line that seemed to cut off your kind of range from the main signal. I'm wondering if willfully dashing onwards there without considering our cutoff point could be dangerous for us. But these, I wonder if these are also the same buildings we could have headed straight towards before exploring the main building we were just in. Or maybe I'm rambling too much and we should just get on with the story. Yes, that sounds like a better plan. Oh, we made it. You eventually emerge into a tight cluster of buildings formed around a raised platform, the most prominent of which is a wide tower with enormous windows running around its entire circumference. Even from down below, you can see a vast bank of consoles lining its interior, though all their screens appear to be of fuzzy grey. Lots of grey. Very metallic kind of feeling going on. It makes sense, really, I guess, doesn't it? You feel a sense of awe at the complexity of this place and its design, and there seems to be a faint buzzing sound that suggests some mechanical activity still persists, if nothing else. Now is the chance to finally put what you've learned into practice. Oh, is this about using the emotions you've found? Should we search out the source of the noise before we... This might be the end point. But uh, maybe once you've collected all of your emotions, this is the place to come for a final kind of answer. Let's search the source of the noise. You search out the source of the noise, and after picking your way through fences, between pylons and over generators, you gradually begin to home in on a final location. Behind one building, you discover a sleek machine hovering about a foot from the ground whirring deliciously. Mm, I could just eat you up whatever you are. You are delicious. Mm. You can't quite believe what you are seeing. What better tool could there be to achieve your final goals? To find something of which you could be proud? To build a vast matrix of knowledge of the, wor of the world, zipping you along in the air just above it? Oh wow. I found myself a fantastic flying machine. That's awesome. You hop in without hesitation, grapple momentarily with the controls, and before you know it, you've set off. The tower and its surrounding buildings shrink rapidly into the distance behind you at an exhilarating rate. Ooh, we're taking off now, buddy. Woohoo! But soon, the environment around you gets bleaker, emptier, while at the same time the machine seems to be getting faster and faster, at a rate you do not seem to be able to control. Oops, I think we were a bit too hasty in, uh, <laughs> yes, in taking this vehicle. I think it may have been a bit of a mistake. What was freeing and horizon expanding suddenly becomes constricting and frightening. You shudder against the confines of the cockpit as the machine jerks almost out of control until it all becomes too much. You are wrenched forward and then black out. A great wave of fear, the final push into the darkness. Oh. Okay, that wasn't so good. That didn't do us any favours at all, did it? Okay, so... We already unlocked fear, so I'm a little bit... Ah, uh, ah, uh, I feel like we may have just unlocked fear again. Let's see here. Yes, we didn't unlock a new... Damn it, we didn't unlock a new emotion. Dang it, I just unlocked fear again. Well, damn. I didn't even know. <laughs> you can do the same thing more than once. So that was that's a new experience. Well, it was a different story, but it just led to fear again. There will be another part of this as we endeavour to unlock some new emotions. We're gonna have to think carefully about the path we take next time so that we can be sure to try and unlock one of those two new ones. Anger and sadness are the two we're aiming for, so 
Let's hope we can do it next time around. This is intriguing. Anyhow, I have been Mikey Bly, and this has been Electric Sleep, and I will pop a link in the description below, and if you still haven't given this game a try for yourselves yet, I highly recommend it, because there is lots of different stories to be told in this game. Anyway, and that, that, is, that is it for this one. So, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. See you all next time around. Bye.